Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF 42 day slash six weeks model for today's uh, second video. And this will get us to the end of July, can you believe? We're right into the very peak of the summer with this uh, update and I should get on with it for you in a moment. First of first all, we're done with the EC uh, extended for quite a while, a couple of weeks since I've been in hospital. Um, now, we'll get on that for you in a second. Just say that first video today, the 6 a.m. UK World forecast, 10 to 14 day coming up, maybe another glass toe update. Not sure if we'll do that today or tomorrow. I shall keep everyone posted. Probably no weekend forecast this week. Might be a bit painful to sit here and write out the written version of that. But I'll see. Yeah, I might do it a little bit later. I'll see later. Just play it by ear. I think. Right, thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the data. Let's have a look at the week one mean set of pressure anomaly then, taking us from the 17th to 24th of June. So, uh, the next week is dominated by low pressure, or next week, I should say, is dominated by low pressure in the Atlantic. I've got some higher pressure down towards Spain and Portugal. Our wing is generally coming in from the western direction. By the way, this is a Ireland and UK focus video, so we do have a wider European outlook with this on a Tuesday. And that will be back next Tuesday, I think. 500 millibar height anomaly looking like that with below average heights in the Atlantic. Again, it suggests a bit of a westerly flow here coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. So temperature anomalies next week are looking a little bit on the cool side, average or slightly below. Most of Western Europe coming out cool and average, particularly France, Spain, Portugal. We're actually less cool than them um, compared to average, but nothing to get excited about there. The temperature next week remain rather cool. Um, precipitation wise, so it looks quite wet away to the northwest and to the south, but somewhat bizarrely, um, drier through England, Wales and parts of Ireland as well. Right, rough and running. Week two will be the 24th of June to 1st of July. All change. High pressure then starts taking over across the country and building up to north as well, turning uh, much drier then under that area of high pressure. 500 millibar heights, building a big ridge of above average heights from the southwest to the north. So, again, that suggests a large build of pressure there during the last week of June. Temperature anomalies are responding to that and going warmer than average. So, yes, we find that the final week of June starts to warm things up and we get an arrival of summer. And week two precipitation looking like that. So, largely on the drier than average side, warm and dry, to end what's been quite disappointing June so far. Week three will be the first to the 8th of July. Um, and high, just a bit of a hint of high pressure towards ice and low pressure generally across uh, much of Europe. Rather strange anomaly, 500 millibar heights. Um, suggests that the high pressure begins to move into the Atlantic. So probably still quite a lot of dry weather, but probably uh, I would have thought cooler winds coming in from more of a northwesterly direction perhaps there. Temperature normally is slightly above average, but a bit of a cool down going on through the first week of July, returning close to normal. And precipitation anomaly is not much of a signal, but it does look drier just out to our west. So probably still reasonably dry. Week four would be the 8th to 15th of July. Let's have a look. And uh, that will bring some higher pressure towards the north of Scotland. Again, low pressure generally across much of the continent. 500 millibar heights has a ridge out to the west of the country. Again, quite a bit of dry weather with that, but would suggest a bit of a northerly influence. So it won't be a heat wave. We're not on the warm side of the ridge there. Temperature anomaly is about average, ever so slightly above. Again, nothing to get particularly excited about. And precipitation anomaly is overall perhaps seems to be a little bit on the dry of an average side, albeit a weak signal. Week 5 is the 15th to the 22nd July. Here we go. And uh, that one has some lower pressure in the Atlantic there. These are rather um, strange anomalies, I have to say. 500 millibar heights begins to move high pressure down towards Spain, Portugal. Could suggest a return of more of a westerly flow, I think, there um, into the second half of July, which could be a little bit more unsettled. Temperature anomalies... Again, close to average, slightly above, nothing overly exciting going on. And uh, precipitation, so a bit drier than average to the south and a little bit wetter than average away to the northwest. And then finally, week six will be the 22nd, 29th of July. This is it. And uh, once more, we see some low pressure up towards Iceland and Greenland, low pressures in the Atlantic as well. 
500 millibar height, stuff like that. Uh, that looks a bit better for turning things one. That's developed, that's developing a Scandinavian high, which would bring in more of an east southeast you pro. Could bring some quite hot air up from the continent. I expect temperature will get a boost here. So not overly, but it goes more widely warmer than average anyway across northern Europe. And precipitation wise, again, very weak signals. So I have to say, it is all looking a little bit mysterious, Borgia. If you wonder why I'm in the position, by the way, I've got my foot up. Foot's aching a little bit tonight. So uh, I've got my fractured foot, left foot up on the little sofa off to the left of me. So that's why I'm kind of at an angle, which I'm not usually at. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a strange update, uh, this one, I think, for tonight. So it looks like uh, next week will be rather cool and said till the last week of June. Looking like a warm up, but I'm not sure really that the EC uh, extended has much of a clue actually about the uh, about what's going to happen through July. So those charts are very very flimsy. I wouldn't put too much money on those charts verifying for July. So a lot of uncertainty for July, I think, with this update. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, and check to do that. Can be back at 10:14 down. Maybe we get broadcast. Not sure. A little bit later on. Uh, keep taking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks so much.